Okay. <clears throat> so this is our first lab session uh, in this course M105. Okay. We have taken the theory part yesterday. We started the course yesterday. Introduction to programming right, using Java. Today, inshallah, we will just uh, try to look into that how we start writing the program. How we start writing the program. We try to understand some basic things, okay, that why we write programs and uh, what is the need of, for the programs. Okay, and how we start to write the program from the given problem. Okay. Basically, we see uh, the existence of the software, what we call programs or softwares. It is to solve some problem. So, we say at this level is a program let's move this the fonts here thank you a program is written to solve a problem we say this basically that program is a, is written to solve a problem program is here as a software right for example we use this calculator it's a kind of program here available with windows okay even in your mobile phone it's available it's a kind of program right we use this program to do some calculations mathematical calculations like for example, we are doing a business and we want to calculate like, okay, we are selling the product by 23 uh, real and I'm selling 12, 12 pieces. So what is the total? I use the calculator here. Okay. Now this is a problem. As being a businessman, okay, or being a seller, you come across this problem. If there is no program, you do it, you calculate it by pen and paper, right? Or by your mind that, okay, 12 multiplied by 23, how much it will be, right? Or if it is a big calculation, so you, you are going to use pen and paper to do, the, to do the calculations. Now, it is a problem that a person uses the resources, pen and paper, Pen and paper are the resources, right? So we see that, okay, if you want to reduce the use of paper and pen, okay, because paper uh, is made from the trees. So if you reduce the use of papers, you reduce cutting of the trees, so the environment will be better in the world. Now, to come up with this, this is a problem, like we need to solve this problem, we need something new to reduce the use of paper, right? So we come up with a new software or a new program called calculator, which will help you to do all the calculation. And you have this calculator, you can install it in your mobile phones, you have it in your mobile, in your computers, laptops and all. The calculator itself itself. Yeah, itself, a calculator itself you have. It's also a program. So a program is written to solve some problem, right? To solve some problem. So that's the main point here, that why we write programs? To solve problems, okay? Okay, if I want to write a program to solve a particular problem, what is the first thing I need to know? Now, what is the first thing I need to know if I want to solve the problem? Yes? How can you solve the problem? Okay, very good. How to do the programming? Okay, very good. Any idea? Like, what I have to know 
to solve any problem. The students online. Any, what do you say in Arabic? Any, what is the problem I know to solve this problem, to solve this problem? Or in English, what do you ask? Any about the problem? Yes. Yeah. First thing I need to understand is that what is the problem? Okay. Very good. Mr. Yusuf has said this. Like first we need to understand what is the problem, then only you can solve the problem. If you don't know what is the problem, then how do you solve the problem? Right? So first thing we need to understand, we need to know what is the problem. To solve the problem. Right? If I say, okay, solve this problem, 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. Solve this. So what do you mean by solve this? Right? So if you, are, if you have studied mathematics, okay, solve this, it means that find x. So you put like 2x is equal to minus 3, then x is equal to minus 3 divided by 2. Okay, we solve this. Right? But if you did not study mathematics and we gave you this problem, 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, solve this. Did you say what is this? I don't know. I'm in uh, the. I'm. Uh, I'm not the student of mathematics, right? Are you sure there is no vice? How about the other students? Is the vice clear? Yusuf says yes. About the other students, it's clear. Table. Okay, I think a problem from your side. Okay, so the problem here is, so okay, first we need to understand the problem, what is the problem, to solve the problem, right? So first, to write any program, first we need to understand what is the problem. We need to read the problem, understand the problem, then only we can solve the problem. Okay, so if it says, okay, uh, we need a program to find a uh, area of a circle you know the circle this is a circle and we have the center of the circle and we have the radius r of the circle right now it is asking you to uh, write a program to solve uh, or to find area of a circle area of this circle what is the area of this circle now first we need to understand what what is the area what do you mean by area of circle how to find the area of circle what i need to find the area of circle ash ahtaj li ahsab al area okay so what i need to find the area of circle that should be clear to me first to know how to find the area of circle. And then you should know how to solve this problem of finding area of circle. Then only I can apply this and write a program. Okay. It is ask you for, a, I give another example. I take another example here. Let's say if I ask you to find the square of a number, x square for x is equal to 3 for example. So how to find the square? What is a square? Okay, first we should know what is a square. How to find the square if for any given number? Then only we can write the program. So the first step here is that 
Uh, to write any program, first we need to understand the problem. What is the problem? And how we can solve that problem. Then only we can move a step ahead to write the program. Otherwise, we will fail in writing the program if we don't know how to solve the problem. Okay. So, for any given question to you, to ask you to write a program, first we you have to go through the problem. What is the problem, given problem, and how can I solve this problem? Okay. Then we implement this using the language. For example, using Java or using any other programming language. Okay. So the first step here. The next is, uh, as we, you know, discussed yesterday. In writing program, first we edit the program or we write the program, right? So after understanding the problem, uh, after understanding the problem, after understanding the problem, uh, we need to also have the knowledge of the language which I am going to use to write the program. Okay, I know how to find the square. Square is nothing but x multiplied by x is a square. Okay, if it is given 3, 3 multiplied by 3 is 3 square. Okay, I want to implement this in write a program. I want to write a program and implement this by using some programming language. So next step is you should know the programming language. So in this course you are studying M1, uh, sorry Java, okay. So we need to understand, we need to know how to write a program in Java so that we can implement this problem, so that we can implement this problem and solve this problem of program, I think program, and so, uh, so solve this problem and we write the program. So, in first thing that we should learn the language, we should learn the language, we need to study the, the language, then we can start writing the program, okay, fine, the next step here is, we learn the language and then we start writing the program, first we edit the program, or we write the program. Yesterday I explained this in writing the steps in writing the program. First we edit the program or we write the program by using some editor. Some editor. Editing softwares and packages is available. You can use Notepad, Notepad++. Okay. Uh, you can also use other IDEs. In this course we are using NetBeans. Right? Yesterday uh, in the class I, I showed you that we are going to use the NetBeans. We are going to use this NetBeans to uh, to write programs in Java. Okay. Now first we edit the program, we write the program that what we want to do to solve this problem. And then after this we are going to check for errors that is called compile the program. And then after we find that if there is no errors in the program, we are going to run the program. We are going to run or execute the program. Okay. What we write here, we call it as a source code. Editing or writing the program, we call that as a source code. Okay. The source code is compiled by using Java compiler. Java compiler is a software that takes the source code, compile it, okay, convert it into the executable code, okay. In Java, the Java compiler will convert this into a byte code, also called class code or byte code. And this byte code is again by the Java virtual machine, convert this byte code into the executable code of the machine and it will run the program, okay. So these steps are, these are the steps which is followed in writing and running the program or executing the program. Next step is from the beginning. Class. Okay, fine. 
So these are the steps we have seen in the last meeting, right? We compile it. So Java C, Java compiler is there, okay, in Java. So that will compile the program, compile your program, check for error. If there is no mistake, no error, okay. Uh, and then it will be converted into running code, okay. In Java, what happens is it will not directly convert into the running code, into the executable code or zeros and ones. First, it will convert into byte code, Java byte code or class code, okay. Now, after this, there is a software called Java, okay, executed by Java Virtual Machine, JVM, okay. That Java will convert the byte code into the executable code. Yeah, in the, in, that will execute uh, and run and give you the output. Okay, so here it is another step. First we write it, then we compile it. The, once we compile it, you will get a byte code in dot class file, and that byte code is again when you it will be executed into the uh, executable code it will be converted into executable code and it is executed okay you can also see that like yesterday we had done this uh, a simple program you know just to display the name okay fine uh, we can check that that uh, dot class file uh, m105 lab1 it was right M105 meeting one. Yeah, I think this one yesterday what we did, right? Just to display the welcome message, right? So this is a Java file. M105 meeting one dot Java. You can see here, right? Now, if you want to check the byte code of this, as I said, like uh, we have the edit, edit we write the source code. So edit is this one we write the source code this is the source code what we write okay now after editing the next step is compile okay so when we say run or we have the debug to debug the project to check any errors or okay compilation and all and then we go for run to run the project then we go for run to run the project if there is no errors it will be executed uh, once it is executed compiled sorry once it is compiled byte code is generated in a dot class file dot class file this is dot java file as you see here dot java file okay but the byte code will be in the dot class file that you can see in the net beans uh, you go to that project m105 meeting 11 you have uh, source code here source code will be here this is the source code you know in the notepad you can open this and see the source code you complete source code what you have there it's here this is the source code okay it is in the folder src in meeting 11 okay byte code it will be in the build classes and you have this here inside the build it is classes and inside the classes you have m105 meeting 11 and you have the class file here now if you try to open this class file it will but you don't get anything let's say i will open this in the notepad you see this is the byte code of this class and uh, I did to you. inside me. Okay, so this is the class file, byte code. This is the byte code. When we run this, 
when we run the program this code is executed you know converted into the java sorry in the machine code zeros and ones and you see the output on the screen so when we run this program when we say run this program we get the output here this is the our output okay so that byte code the class file is executed to give this output fine so this is our you know discussion uh, about the our first lab session and uh, what i suggest you to have you installed the netbeans ready with the netbeans did you try this program not yet just yes this this it okay fine uh, take it as an as a work a lab work that uh, you write a program okay open a new project and write a program uh, to display your details your name your id number your name your courses registered courses current gpa current what is your gpa okay and write it uh, just to display these details fine take a screenshot of it and send it to me by email fine as a lab work fine so we'll stop here for today as a lab work and you can do this lab work in the lab or in your laptop fine and take a screenshot of the output and send it to me back okay i repeat the question write a program to display your details detail include id number name courses you registered in this semester and your current gpa fine okay thank you very much